Hello Techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this module, we will learn how to export and import the flows by using Power Automate. Let me switch to Microsoft Power Automate. Right now we are in URL that is india.flow.microsoft.com. So in this module, our agenda is that how can we export and import the flows which you have already created as part of Power Automate, right? Now, how can I go ahead and get it, the flows which we have already created? We will go to My Flows. And then you can see there are a lot of flows we have created in our previous session. That is Data to Excel, Daily Report Status, Leave Approval Flow, and so many are there, right? Now, I want to export this flow, and then again, I want to import the flows which, which someone has already exported how can i go ahead and do that if you see let us assume i want to export this leave approval flow how can i go ahead and do that you can see over here there are three dots let's select that more commands and then you will find the option that is export whenever you are exporting this flow this flow will be exported in the gif format as a package now i will go ahead and select this package dot zip and then it will ask the export package details. You can see over here package details created by on so and so date, all these things. I will give it the name as leave form package. Okay, I'm just going to give the details over here. And the environment, what are the environment? Let's assume you are having SIT environment, U8 environment, what are the environment that you have? You can go ahead and you can give the environment details. And the description, I can say simply as this is related to leave. I'm just going to information giving the description over here. And you can see the review package content. This is very, very important. Choose your export options to add the comments. You can see over here, you want to import the setup or update the things. You can see the actions over here. Okay. These can do at the time of importing, you will find it out. It is an update or thing. Now, what I will do, I will select that. Let's assume I don't have this package in which environment that I'm going to import. Right now, I'm going to exporting it, right? But you will see, while ever you are importing, what it will be doing, that choose what will happen when each resource is imported to the new environment. I want to create a new one, or if it is already existed, this package, then I'm going to update it. But right now, what I'm going to use it, I'm going to create as new. And then I'm going to save it. That's the mean whenever you are going to importing that you have to create that flow. I will show you how it is. Now we will talk about the related resources. Nothing but the connectivities which you have been used while you are going to creating the flow. Well, at the time of creation, I have used a lot of connectivities, right? One is Excel online business, another one approval connection, another one Microsoft forms connection. And finally, we have seen the mail connection also. These things, you can import this setup while at the time of importing. You can see the option, select during the import, select during import, all these things. And you can see the actions over here. You can see the actions also. All the actions, if you want, you can go ahead and you can give it over here. And the comments, you can provide the comments. What are the comments that you require? You can go ahead and you can give it. Okay. Now, I'm going to click on export. And you can see over here, leave form package has been created and downloaded successfully. Now, let me open this package where it has been downloaded. Let me go to show in folder. And you can see this entire thing has been compressed in the GIF format. Now, what I will do, I will extract this by clicking on right click and extract all. The reason is that why I'm extracting this file, you can see what are the files that we have in the in the particular GIF file. You can see all the flows related information. You are having the connectivities in the JSON format. That is, you know, API map.json connections, definition, and all these things. And also, you can find the manifesto over here, manifesto.json. This is all related to your flow which you have been exported. I hope you understand how to export a flow from one environment to another environment by using the GIF file. Now, what I'm going to do, now let me go to my flows. 
Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this leave approval flow. The reason is that I don't have multiple environments over here, so that in multiple environments, you don't have the file, uh, flow or you may have the flow, right? Now, without having the flow that how can I import and to show you that I'm going to delete this flow. Okay, let me delete this. Now, if you see, I don't have that leave approval form flow over here. How can I go ahead and then I will import that? You can see over here, there's an option import, right? When you go to my flows there, I'm having import option. Now, what are the package we have downloaded that package I'm going to import? That is leave form packages, right? Now, let me select that import option. Over here, if you see import package, the package, whatever in the zip file, you can see upload a zip file package over here. Whatever you have downloaded while at the time of exporting, you have created dot zip file. That zip file you are going to upload right now by clicking on the upload. Okay. Now let me select leave form package, which we have been downloaded. Now let me select and click on open. And you can see uploading your package, don't navigate away. You have to wait till this one has to complete. Once the import package has been completed, you can see the package details once again. The name is the package is leave from package, environment not applicable, description, this is related to leave. And you can see over here, leave approval flow. The name of the flow is leave approval flow. And you can see over here, import setup that I'm going to create it as new. And after that, these are all the connectivities, right? Select during the connectivity, and you can see there's a lot of connectivities are there. I'm going to give one by one over here. I'm going to select that. So for the Microsoft Forms, I have used the same connectivity. Let me save it. And after that, the remaining things also, I'm going to do the same thing. Once, you know, the related resources, that importing setup, what we have given the option, select during the import, right? The package has been uploaded successfully and we have given our package content and our event that I have given our related resources. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on import button over here. Now you can see all the package resources was successfully imported. You will get it over here. Now, how can we know that the package has been or the flow has been created successfully in our flows or not? You can see over here, open flow. Click on that, which it will redirect to my flows only. Okay. Now, you can see all the related information related to the flows, like leave approval flow, what are the Microsoft forms we have used, how the flow has been fetching the data from the MS forms, and after they add a row into the table, starting and wait for the approval and the condition. In the condition, again, we are having if else condition, that is if else unknown. These are all the things which we have seen already, right? If you want to add in some more activities or some more actions over here you can go ahead and you can do that okay now let me go to my flows once again and you can see over here leave approval flow that is what we have imported the package by using our package that is leave from package.gif file and you can see the modified is one minute ago right and if you want you can go ahead and you can edit it and even you can go ahead and you can click on test to test it by using, I will perform the trigger actions by clicking on test. I hope you understand how to export a flow and how to import a flow into the different, different environments by using Power Automate. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.